Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Celebrity Cars. Today we've got a 2021 white stormtrooper-ish colored G-Wagon. Folks, I gotta tell you, I'm not supposed to tell you these things. We've, no, we've, this, this, we, we knew this car when it was born. We've known it through its current mileage. I've driven it a bunch of times because, you know, we, we do these things here and there. This is a steal. You just found it for sale on the internet and you might be looking for G-Wagons. And if, if you're kind of like, ooh, oh, Stormtrooper, white, black, blah, 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 this, holy crap, this is a steal. I just found out how much it was. I'm not telling you. You gotta go to Celebrity Cars to find out. And I've never said that in any of my filming. This is an awesome, awesome, incredible vehicle. Keep it clean and you're in good shape because you know it's got like a cream white interior. Welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located just down the street from all the shiny lights here on the strip. Uh, you come here on vacation, you want to see some more. There's 66 Chevelle over there. We've got Firebirds, Porsches, Bentleys. We've got old Corvettes, Hot Rods, Chevelles, Limousines. Come check us out. It's a really cool place. You come see us. You don't have to buy anything. Just come on by. Maybe you'll take something home. Anyway, look at this sucker. Folks, it's got 14,700 and change miles on it. 2021. It's been enjoyed. The patina, so in other words, the road wear, the reason why I'm here, I'm your living, breathing condition report, is like slim to none, folks. The brake calipers are in beautiful shape. I don't think there's any curb rash. The door panels are perfect. It's never been painted. The windows are in fabulous shape. The top is in fabulous shape. The kick panels down here uh, have kind of been used getting in and out of the car. Just like, uh, you know, that, that's what they're there for. So there are hair scratched up. The side pipes on the side need a little bit of polish to be shined up. The main hood up here, all of this is in fabulous shape. Every once in a while, I've got a little itty bitty mark here. Look, come see. Come see the things that our competitors don't show you because, you know, they just don't spend the time nor care to show you that there's a little mark right here and a little mark right here. Uh, could, could that bang up the sale for us? Well, I, uh, uh, sure. But nine times out of 10, 19 times out of 20, you're gonna go buy a car and they'll say, oh no, there's no scratches. And you're gonna go, what was that? What was that? There's one right there. What the, what the? So that's what we try to do here at Celebrity Cars. We let you know really what's going on with these cars. The windshield's in good shape. Standing right here, I don't see anything. But I'll bet you there's a couple really small patinaed little chips in the windshield. Does it need to be replaced? Heavens no. It just needs, you know, or it just, uh, you know it's, it's, I'm sorry, it's just normal wear and tear. Any markings that are up here on the front of this vehicle, it's just normal wear and tear. Nobody hit anything. Come on over here, you see this? Got little itty bitty marks in the black. They're really slight. This is just very normal, normal stuff. All the plastic pieces for the breathing, uh, <coughs> the front grill, all of it in good shape. All this black stuff is in great shape. And you know what else is cool? There's a clear bra. Folks, this car's been clear bra gazoo. Who clear bras this? This guy did. All clear bra, whole thing. Not in the back, because you know, you're not whacking into environment in the back back here, but all this has a clear bra on it. It's absolutely amazing. Up here, this whole paint job, <laughs> this whole thing. I'm talking about these little marks. I'm wasting my time. Folks, this is all clear bra. This whole piece here, all clear bra. Let's, let's find out if the hood's clear bra. I can't tell if the hood's been clear bra or not. I don't think the hood's got a clear bra on it. It doesn't feel like it. And this fender doesn't have a clear bra on it, but all this front end. See, there's a little mark right there next to the headlight. This is one big fancy ass piece of clear bra right here. Excuse my French, but this is awesome. This is called detail and to keep a vehicle really nice. Okay, the black fender wells all the way around, although there's a couple little blips here and there. It's just normal road wear. I tried to get this to wipe off a little earlier today. Uh, these little blips here in the black. I'm not really sure that they're gonna come off. But, I mean, who cares kind of, I'm, I'm just saying. Um, you know, it's been used. You, you want one without these marks on it, you have to go buy a brand new one for $400,000. This is a steal, this car is a steal. There's no marks back here and all this black. I cleaned most of it. Uh, look at this. Oh, no, crud. Not one mark on this surface. Nobody's ever backed in anything back here. We'll open it up and look at it in a couple minutes. I see some uh, detailing here that needed to be done. A little bit of running water that came down. Sorry about that. 
but uh, I mean, there's no gouges. There's no, there's, there's really no nothing. Uh, come on down here. Let's look at these wheels. No curb rash, nice and shiny black. Not, it's actually flat black. Um, and the brake calipers are in super shape. Front driver's side, no curb rash once again. Beautiful red brake calipers. We're all in good shape. Most popular curb rash wheel, no curb rash. Beautiful brakes. Look at the size of those brakes. Oh my Lord, no wonder these things stop on a dime. There's another one. Beautiful red and no curb rash on this wheel either. Spectacular. Let's look in the back real quick. Look at, the, look at this. Folks, G-Wagons are the greatest SUV ever made. How do I know this? Well, the, take a real big quick whip around here. There's a Range Rover there. There's Bronco. We've had a couple Broncos around. Um, well, there's another G-Wagon, so of course it's going to be, a, there's that Bentley thing over there, folks. <laughs> and the winner is one of these. Great protector down here on the carpet. Look at that carpet. Brand new. This is this smartly covers this chrome piece here, so that doesn't get all banged up. It's nice and clean in and out of here. The carpet in the back here looks great. There's looks like seem to be a little. I bet you that just wipes off. It's on the speaker. Um, the sills. Nobody's throwing a bunch of crap in here to mark it all up and bang it all up and scratch the plastic inside. N none of that stuff. Beautiful shape. Cream. Beautiful. Look at this. Crying out loud. Gee. Okay. Look at this interior, folks. Okay, so what's going on in here? Wow, pretty darn close to nothing. See this bolster over here. This bolster is the Winch Quincy. I always share people. You don't have to come over here. This bolster right here. I always, you know, I always share this. You know, how used was it? How many times was it climbed in and out of? What kind of shape is it? That, this one's never banged up. This isn't, this looks like nobody's ever sat in here. There's nowhere, none. Center console, same thing. It's gorgeous. There's nothing to share. The wood, look at this wood. Oh, you like, God, beautiful, this wood. Incredible. Beautiful floor mats down here protecting the carpet. Now the carpet is cream. There's a couple little marks over here on the carpet, but it's just from a shoe, probably from me getting in and out of it just now. Um, so it does clean up. Is it kind of a pain in the ass? Well, yeah, it's, it's cream. You know, you know, it's borderline white. So yeah, you gotta be you gotta be clean getting in and out of this thing, or you know, you're gonna see your detailer every two weeks for sure. Moonroof looks great, headliner looks great. Amazing. All right, let's take a look at the motor. I haven't seen this motor. I hope it's clean. Hey, it's clean enough. Looks good in here. Here you go. Proud of you, Benjamin. Well done. Lucky you getting to put one of these things together. Way, way cool. Everything's super nice and clean in here again, folks. All of it, no surprises. Let's look in the back seat real quick. I kind of skipped over the back seat. Is this your cell phone holder? Is this yours? Uh-oh, somebody lost their, left their cell phone holder back here. All this carpet protecting back here. Folks, no Fruit Loops, no Cheerios, no lollipop sticking anything, no feet marks on the back of the seats comes with a separate car charger. I don't know, somebody left that in there. Okay, and you've already seen back there and you're in good shape. Some extra headrest things going on here. It's just, it's good. vehicles are crazy, man. Super, super, super cool. Okay. I think I got it all covered, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're gonna go for a quick ride around the block. All right, 
we're going to make sure the brakes are doing what they're supposed to do. We're going to make sure it accelerates. We're going to make sure there's no, you know, valve taps. You know, none of these little, little warning signs that you shouldn't be. I, I, I'm just doing it for you folks. I, I already know that this is just the dreamiest thing in the whole world. So um, the silver one that we have here. Just did a video on that. That's going to be up online real soon too. But, uh, you know, the, the, the winner is <laughs> just personal preference. This is an amazing ride. Know all about it. It's ready to go. We're going to be right back. We're going to go for a quick cruise. Okay, we're in the 2021 G-Wagon, uh, the white one. Stormtrooper, I call it. Some weird reason. My eyes are, you know, I'm just babbling right now while my eyes whip around in the interior in here and see if I see any imperfections that I missed inside and kind of sort of the inside and shade. And, um, man, I love this thing. Okay, well... Folks, let's go for a quick ride around the block before I get too attached. My foot's on the brake. Rum. I'm gonna put a seatbelt on before we get yelled at. The dash is beautiful. Jeez. Clock still works. Better. <laughs> okay. Got a little bit of air going on. I don't know what that is. I'm going to try and make that go away. I don't want to hear that. Okay. Foot. Oh. Go pull the park brake. I didn't do the park brake. Did I do the park brake? Okay. Whatever. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. On the gas. I'm going to shut up. Doing 40 miles an hour, I'm gonna hit these brakes pretty good. Three, two, and one. Man, that's amazing. Well done, Mercedes. Well done, AMG. I don't know if it's, ugh. How you can get brakes that size to be as quiet and as smooth and stop one of these great big things so fast is just amazing. I shared a little story earlier about the other G-Wagon that we have. It's very, very nice as well. Um, but these cars are just really remarkable, folks. You, you, I know a lot of you that unfortunately never had a chance to hop in one of these things and drive them around. I don't know, set a life goal <laughs> to be able to have one of the finest driving SUVs that you can get. I don't know anything that's better than this. I'm gonna shut up, we're gonna hit the gas. Man, I hope you folks could hear that. <laughs> Just those last uh, 15 seconds, folks, please uh, rewind that and turn your volume all the way up. This is just uh, incredible. Got up to about 60 miles an hour. My foot's on the brake. The brakes work so well. It's like, oh. Turn signals are good, obviously. Folks, I do a lot of chit-chatting sometimes in these cars. They're brand new, not many miles on them. I don't have a whole lot to say. Except for the fact that uh, you, you, you really don't get a, you really don't get any better than this with an SUV. You just don't. It's impossible. So just take my word for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, in the beginning of the video, I let everybody know. Um, incredible, folks. If you got any more questions, or if you saw this video first, well, geez, go to celebritycars.com, go to Mercedes Benz, pull up this white and black sucker and read all about how many owners it's had, um, you know, Carfax, all that stuff. And uh, give us a call if you have any more questions, 702-818-1031. And uh, you'll be very, very, very lucky to own this one. We'll see you next time.